Hello guys, me Carl Sanz is aka Epicon95 and I'm gonna do a basically an overview of the crew 2 which I haven't commented in a while because I have I haven't like you know done like a review or understand or comprehend how I uh, beat it all these missions and Basically what the title says, Rally Raid Challenge, and yeah, I can't talk today, I'm just claustrophobic about the ideas I'm trying to bring out there and say, hey, I've been trying to really grind at it and win the races, you know, and, and in most of my video clips I've been trying to compile, it's like I either hit the wall or hit a lake. That's all. And I try to be selective in my content that I share to you guys and say, hey, I'm not a bad racer after all. It takes, takes five or ten tries to beat it. And then once I get this off-road racing figured out, then hey, I can move on to the next racing discipline, you know, and you'll see in the next few video, video series of the the two, yeah, <laughs> the crew two, or the Formula One cars, and I think I enjoyed those series much more than the other disciplines I've tried. But but I can tell you, this sequel that I played through last winter, much better than the original crew video game, which. Well, it was time consuming because it didn't give you like a fast travel or a waypoint where you can just <coughs> skip through all this highway driving, listening to music and all that. I didn't really enjoy it, but in a, in a real world sense, you'll know what the backdrop of a city looks like. For Like for example, the... The Willis Tower in Chicago, or it used to be the Sears Tower, you know, and then the Empire State Building in New York. So I never wanted to go cross country from the East Coast to the West Coast because, you know, I kind of realize it's so hard to drive when you're all alone and don't have friends with you to energize you and try to keep you active and all that and pay for the gas you know yeah paying for the gas is expensive so so let's focus on this video clip so as I complete these missions and finish these off-road buggy vehicles that I believe I'm completing they, these races weren't that bad after. Mm, man, I hit a tree. <laughs> but I'm far ahead. <laughs> All I can say is... I don't think there's a way to set the AI difficulty in the crew to... Is this based off how much, how many wins you get and whether or not you can get credits for, like, purchasing... Uh, powerful vehicles uh, that's my take on it so so I'm up to the start or the finish line and I'm gonna easily win the race so get some loot boxes I believe which will upgrade my car setup well not really car setup but basically Every engine and chassis components that you can build off of and actually really just invest on it, you know? You don't have to worry about sponsorships and everything because in the game I have like an agent that will help me get those rides and get better livery schemes, you know? So that's basically all I have to say about this video. Just drop a comment if you like the video so much. 
give a thumbs up button if you like it and then click on that bell button if you want to subscribe for more content which is happy carlo 95 so make it happy carlo 95 and y'all have a good evening and peace out I don't know what you're thinking or who you've been listening to, but I'm not liking what I'm seeing. Now, I helped you get this far, and yet I feel like you're walking away from me. You took advantage of what I could do for you, and now you're going to leave me? Show me that I'm wrong.
looking good so far, but don't let up. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so click on that thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you have any thoughts or feelings about the most recent YouTube video you just saw, share a comment right below the description so I can share some thoughts and feelings with others in the community and make them feel welcome. So I'm AKA Happy Carnot 957. Y'all have a great day and peace out.